Hello and welcome back to Seconds Out. My name is Eamon Khan here with El Animal, Philip Hergovic. Philip, how are you doing, sir? Everything good. How are you? Thank you. Yeah, all the better for speaking to yourself. I know you're on vacation and holiday, so thank you for taking the time out to speak to me. Let's rewind a little bit. You win against Dempsey McKean. You got the knockout stoppage victory at the end, uh, towards the end of the fight. You happy with your performance? Uh, to be honest with you, I still didn't watch the tape. And but my feeling from the from the fight that uh, I was not uh, like one hundred percent. I think it, it was it was not like brilliant performance, but it was a decent decent fight. I controlled the fight, and uh, he was holding a lot. I couldn't do everything what I wanted to do. He was holding a lot, and I think referee did a bad job. He should get one or two point deductions. So, and uh, I came into that fight with one year layoff, and uh, everything. When you when you consider everything, I'm satisfied. Satisfied, and I'm happy. I think I can do much better, but uh, I'm I'm I'm. It was okay, and I I was I went to the fight with like I had like broken nose. I broke my nose on the sparring like two weeks before the fight, and I wasn't even sure if I'm gonna fight. We we were uh, ready to cancel everything, you know. And then in the like last minute, maybe one week before or five days before, we decide that I'm gonna fight. And uh, because of that, also I was a little more cautious, you know. But like I said. A lot of things happened, and uh, it it was not brilliant, but uh, it was. Uh, I'm I'm satisfied, and it was a good good fight. Well, it sounds like you battled through a lot to get the victory there. Now you must be happy with the position you're in. Uh, your IBF mandatory, the mandatory is coming up next to take on Alexander Usyk. I saw on your social media it said, "I'll see you very soon." Tell me though, Philip, what did you see from Usyk in his fight with Daniel Dubois? Were you impressed by his? performance in the ring i'm not impressed uh i'm not impressed with anyone you know he's a good fighter of course but uh, i'm good fighter as well i'm 17 years in boxing you know i i uh boxed with uh, olympic champions european champions world champions uh, I, I have a long career. I spar with everyone, so I feel like I, I can beat anyone. You know, if I have good camp, if I have a good focus, and I if I give my hundred percent, you know that I can beat anyone. So in, in that fight with Dubois, he, he looked, he did uh, what, what he do. You know, usually. And uh, he's a good fighter. He has a good pace, throw a lot of punches. You know, he's uh, move a lot. But I don't see anything, you know, special. And uh, I feel that uh, Dubois had some good moments, good counters. And he just needed to throw more, you know. He needed to be more aggressive. And I, I think I have that endurance and that uh, speed that I can, uh, you know, throw throw more, and that I get, can give him more troubles than than Dubois or Joshua. He, can you tell me in the controversial moment in the fight, it was whether it was the referee ruled it no knockdown, saying it was a, a low blow. Was it a low blow? Was it a knockdown? What do you think? I don't know what to tell you. Uh, if you see the tape and if you see the photos, it, it's not it's not low blow, you know. But the reaction, Usyk reaction, uh, it's more like a low low blow than than a body shot, you know. You react different when you get a body shot, or he's or he's a Hollywood actor, you know. <laughs> So I don't know. I don't know if anyone can act like that, you know. Uh, but uh, also, it's too it's too too low to be, you know, a body shot. When when you go to the body, it's need to be, you know, a little bit higher. Where where is the 
I don't know uh, where is the this part when when it w where it hurts and where where the I don't know the name on English, uh, but uh, I don't know what to say. But I would say that it, it, it was low blow by his reaction and by by you know everything. I I think it it was low blow, but of course I'm not sure. A lot of people are saying that the key to beat Alexander Usyk is to hit him to the body, legally to the body. Where they're looking at the videos of Arta Baturbiev, they're looking at other videos where Usyk seems to appear to be hurt by body shots. Is that something that you see as a key for you to get the victory over Usyk? Yeah, and not all, I, I. I thought that even before this fight, you know, not only because he's weak, he's obviously weak on the body, but because he moved his head a lot, you know, and the body is stationary target. He cannot move his body, and I think to to move his him out of his balance, and to to uh, to to. Uh, prepare yourself for the head shots. You know you need to start with the body, especially with him. Like I said, because he moves a lot. So uh, punch to the body, to his to his uh, hands everywhere. You know to put him out of uh, balance and to 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 then uh, prepare for the for the head uh, head shots. I think that's like. Uh, Will really important with him. Do you expect your mandatory fight to be next, or do you think that the undisputed fight will happen first? I'm the next in the line, man. What are you talking about? What unification? Fury, fucking Fury has his upcoming fight with a fucking guy who never boxed before, and it's disrespecting. To boxing and to boxing fans so he's not capable to do unification he has his fight scheduled and uh you seek need to defend his mandatories and i'm in the next in the line there's no step aside if they offer me 100 millions there's no step aside and there's no unification so i'm the next in the line I respect your position, uh, Philip, on that. Um, let me get your thoughts on a couple of things and I'll let you go. Was there any ever any talk of you replacing Dylan White in the main event when Robert Hellenius was before Robert Hellenius was drafted in? Did anyone ever approach you? No. We we were approached. My manager offered me, you know, to to his promoters. Of course, I'm ready to jump. In that's big opportunity, but no, no one, no one uh, ever ap approached approached me. No. You said about your disappointment about this Fury versus Ngannou fight. Um, can you talk to me more? Because a lot of boxing fans aren't happy about this fight. This guy is crazy, man. In this situation, you know, and uh, with this. Uh, they have they negotiate for this unification like for last one one and a half year you know and with everything what's going on and he now have this fight that's that's so 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 crazy i think he don't even want to box anymore he's he's not a stable the guy he's uh, changed his mind every every day and uh, it's not good for boxing you know, uh, it's really it's really disrespecting to 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 boxing, and I, I don't know what to say. It's so crazy to do that in this situation, where he has a chance to become like all time great. You know, if he be too sick, he can be like maybe top top ten heavyweights in the history or something like that you know but he's fighting Nugan what to say you know uh another fight I want to get your thoughts on is what your former opponent uh Gilles Zhang takes on Joe Joyce in a rematch do you think Gilles Zhang wins again uh, probably you know because uh 
how how you say in 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 uh, English he got his number right yeah so uh, he's probably be much more confident and uh, he beat him already so you know it's funny thing because in the first fight no one gave chance to Zhang and now everyone talking different you know everyone talking that he gonna kill him in in a rematch so boxing boxing is so strange and boxing people one day one guy is great another day uh, another guy you know people change their opinions you know very often so it's funny but uh, i think i think if if he if, if uh, joyce can endure like for the six seven eight rounds to not get knocked out you know i think zeng will you know guess out and uh, joyce joyce can uh, you know beat him but he need to survive this first six seven rounds because zeng is big guy and he's fast and he's uh, accurate you know so he he needs to and the thing with Joe Joyce, he's not he's not Philip Hergovich, he's not from Croatia, and he not he can't take these shots, you know. There only one man with steel chin, and this man you're talking with right now. Last question, and it's been a pleasure speaking to this man <laughs> with the steel chin. Uh, every every so often, the clip of you sparring John Tawalda all those years back comes round, and everyone starts to talk about it again and, and again and, and again. There's this talk about this anti Joshua versus Jonte Wilder fight. Do you feel, as someone who sparred Jonte Wilder, anti Joshua can beat him? Definitely, he can beat him. I think Joshua is better fighter. You know, when you see, you know, general general picture, when you see like technique and uh, his physique and uh, you know. Boxing IQ, every, Joshua is b- better fighter, you know, he's Olympic champion. But he has now his problem with the confidence. And uh, I think if he show, you know, his great, uh, great, uh, his best performance, like against Klitschko or, you know, in the early days, definitely he, he can beat him. But it's up to him, you know, what version he's he going to show. Philip, a real pleasure speaking to you. Looking forward to seeing you get your opportunity at the belts very soon. Thank you for speaking to Seconds Out, and we'll catch up very soon. Thank you, man. All the best. <laughs>